Hi guys, I'm Darren and in this video we're going to be clarifying telemetry options with FreeSky receiver redundancy. So a couple of weeks ago I made a video on setting up receiver redundancy with FreeSky receivers and I was going through the process in Access. One of the things that's always been said is you only set up one uh, receiver for telemetry. And I got a few comments asking, you know, why is this? I, I've set it up and it's working fine, that sort of thing. So I thought what I'd do is actually reach out to FreeSky and just get some definitive answers. As I say, there were a few comments. There was one from a guy called 3D Pisu, who his comment was deleted by YouTube. So I just couldn't reply to that even if I wanted to. So I figured I'll make a quick video and then everyone can sort of get the information. Right, so where does this all come from? Well, at the moment, any content you find is usually ACCST based. So the rules have always been you can only set telemetry up on one receiver. I did ask why, but I didn't get an answer back. So I'm guessing it's some sort of conflict or something that um, the transmitter end just can't deal with if you have telemetry on multiple receivers. Now, one thing I did find out is that you can just bind as many receivers as you can on that model and they will all work. So you can have like eight receivers um, all connected up for receiver redundancy if you wanted to, but you can only have telemetry on one of those receivers. The exception is with ACCST, if you're using something like this, this is a redundancy bus. So this is the RB20 um, and this has got inputs for smart port on both receivers and also has a smart port input for taking information from things like airspeed sensors, variometers, or, you know, you can get a load of different smart port sensors. So you can plug those into there, plug both receiver smart port into this, as well as the S bus, and th this takes care of everything. So in that situation, both receivers in here can have telemetry enabled, but unless you're using a redundancy bus, ACCST, you can only have one with enabled telemetry. The story is different with access. You can have up to three receivers. So we're limited by the, the slots we have per model. So we can only have three receivers, but they can all have telemetry turned on and there won't be a problem at all. So I hope this clarifies it up for you guys. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get this video out to more people so they can get the definitive answer on smart port telemetry with redundancy as well. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Fly your models like you stole them.